I'm ready to go to the airport. I can't believe this trip is happening right now. Let's go to London. Okay, so switching to phone because I forgot to bring the right charger. Oh my gosh, this literally has exploded body wash on it. Anyway, I'm gonna get ready and talk you through what my day has been like so far. Not on my flight, the flight was fine. I just sat next to this woman who wanted to read the entire flight. And like, I love that for her, except for the fact that she used her phone flashlight when it was pitch dark and I was trying to sleep and so I couldn't sleep because I didn't have an eye mask so I barely slept last night let's keep that in mind I've had 50 minutes landed and I like knew what I was doing because I've talked to my dad about like the plan and like what I was doing so I'm walking through I get to immigration and I'm reading all the signs and I'm like okay cool and then they like send me through I was I was prepped to talk to someone I was prepped to talk to an agent and they sent me through this thing where I just had to scan my passport and go and like I was expecting I was gonna get a stamp I was gonna have to tell them where I am nothing and they were just like it just like let me through and I was like panicking because I was like wait I would have said something if that was not all that I needed to do right so I walk through get my bag bag is heavy bag is banged up like there are scratches everywhere which is expected when you check a luggage so I had to hook it to my other one I have two heavy luggages checked one that was like 45 pounds and then the one that I'm carrying which is probably like 20 pounds so I put those together and then I go through customs and then I'm out and I'm walking to the place where like I need to get the train and I almost go on the wrong train because I thought I was going to the Heathrow Express and I'm not. Anyway, so I get on the train and I'm like sweating. Getting a ticket was like a whole ordeal because there was like a line and then I'm just like trucking these big suitcases by myself through a place that I'm like, I've been to London before, but it was a very long time ago. So I'm like unfamiliar and I'm just like trying to figure it out. Whatever, I'm just a girl. I get on the train it's like an hour train ride. I'm like clutching onto my bags for dear life because I'm like, the only place I could sit was on the outside where the door is. So I was like, somebody could just come in and like grab my stuff and then they go. And also at the same time all this is happening, I'm like texting my dad because he wants updates. And then I like lose service and I'm like, oh my gosh, I really hope that he like isn't nervous that like something happened. Cause I'm like, I took like 20 minutes to respond to him at one point And I was like anxious about that and then i was like okay i'm gonna have to lug these suitcases up like a full flight of stairs because i'm by myself and like that's the only way out of here like it was just there were so many things happening in my brain i was also talking to caitlin who's getting on the train to come here i'm talking to my professors on the trip like i'm just like i was drenched in sweat so stressed out like it, everything is fine all of that to say i'm here so i think what i'll do right now is i'll go out and grab something to eat and then just like walk around it's raining so classic london but that's the vibe i'm gonna finish getting ready and then we're gonna go <laughs> Hey vlog. I'm actually gonna start vlogging today because I recorded a few clips yesterday and then it just went downhill. So we're, we're going steady <laughs> incline today, though. Yes. So. Yes. We're not we're worried. Gonna, everything's goes. going uphill from here. We're going to the National Gallery pending. We, yeah, li we literally don't know what we're doing today. But um, yep, we're doing stuff. That's so. what they say. <laughs> that's the word on the street. Yeah, but we're gonna go down to breakfast. We're gonna get our free breakfast at the hotel that's apparently a six, six out, out of ten. ten. Scared. Yay! Yay, vlog. Yay. Hi, <laughs> Is this for the vlog? Yeah. Oh. We apologize 
for the for being haters on the haters because the haters are right. I fear I would give it a hold. Like this. I fear like. <laughs> tell him. Tell him how you feel. I'm not personally. I'm not like huge. Like okay. Well now I feel silly saying it. <laughs> No, she doesn't like British boys. No, I so I, the famous ones. I prefer Scottish ones. No, not the famous ones. Well, she was like, oh, then do you not like the famous, famous ones either? And I was like, no. But that's not true. Oh, I was just feeling some type of way. I was feeling bold. The cold air is holding. It's getting to your head. It is. But it's messing it up. We made friends. In our we cars. made friends. Oh, oh, there's birds, guys, everywhere. Denormalize. D de is that a word? Be normalized? That's not a word. Un Get rid of make birds. it not normal. Yeah, stop to have normalizing birds. birds. Like, stop <laughs> domesticating them. We're in Tulsa Square. It's so cute! It's so cute! We're gonna go take pictures! Yay! Yes, we are. <laughs> there, oh, there's Big Ben and the eye. It's covered by the, the light. And then this is Westminster Abbey, but we're being tourists right now. We got um, a touristy bracelet that I can't hold up. Can you hold They're it up? They're so cute. They're really cute. Look how cute. Dripped out. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna walk over to Ben, I think. And the eye, we're not gonna go on the eye because the eye is like, that would be like, Watch oh, yourself. that's crazy. That'd be like 50 US dollars what? to go on the eye. How we all That's so expensive. Okay, reply snap. What do they do? We don't pledge allegiance. So. so what do they do? Guys, I'm realizing on this trip that I know a lot less than I think I know. Like common, like I'm not gonna say what I thought I thought earlier. That's just embarrassing. But I'm learning a lot. I am learning a lot on this trip. We're yeah. learning a lot. We're reflecting a lot. We're learning a lot from each other. We're learning a lot from tradition. Tradition. Um, I know that there are some. There are some fine men. For sure. My friend's in there. For sure. This is what we're looking at. And then we have this back here. Reply snap. Do you guys think that um, the White House is like kind of flat? <laughs> like when you <laughs> like when you walk up to it. I'm trying to explain this to Grace, but like it's just like here there's a bit of like sidewalk, a bit of a little bit of like texture, but like at the White House it's just like flat. Then there's like the house and the gates. It's just yeah. flat. And yeah. here it's, it's here it's not flat. Yeah. That's the update. Hi guys, welcome to day three. And I haven't talked to you in a while, but um, we'll do a full story time, story time. later. Um, basically, don't have a phone, don't have money. Hey guys, I'm home and I'm editing and I decided that before we go further with the video, I'm just gonna explain what happened. So basically, my phone was stolen in London. Caitlin and I were walking around shopping and I put my phone in my jacket pocket. I thought about this strategically because the entire time I was thinking in my head, I can't get anything stolen. Nothing can be stolen. I had so much anxiety. You saw in the beginning of the video, like I was stressed about everything. So it's really ironic that this happened to me, but I put my phone in my jacket pocket and my jacket pocket is very narrow and thick and like deep. So I was like, there's no way anybody can get in there unless they put their whole fist in there. So I put my phone in my pocket. I was holding it while it was in my pocket and then it started to downpour. And so the only thing I was thinking of was getting my umbrella out. So I got my umbrella out. I was holding it with the hand that used to be holding my phone for literally 30 seconds as we walked across the street to go into a store. And then I noticed in the store that my phone was gone. Caitlin checked to find my friends and my phone had been turned off like 10 minutes prior to when she checked. So we realized it was gone. Called the police, filed a police report, had the biggest panic attack of my life. Losing my phone messed up everything. No one wants to lose their phone, but I don't think if you've never had your phone stolen or know someone that had their phone stolen, you don't think of how big of a deal it is because I had no money. I had to cancel all my credit cards. I had to change all my passwords for every single one of my accounts because just in case this person got into my phone, then everything would be gone. I'm still without a phone. My phone is coming tomorrow. It's been three weeks. Don't get your phone stolen. Even if you're careful about it like me, I don't think it'll happen to you until it does. So. Be safe out there, guys. <laughs> We're at the Hampton Court Palace right now in England, outside of London, and it is literally insane. Like, this is like jaw dropping. Like, we're just in shock right now. We're walking around, we're taking pictures, there's a maze. I feel like I'm in Saltburn, but Caitlin hasn't watched Saltburn, so I can't talk to her about it. But if you get it, you get it. This is like a giant castle, and we're gonna do a maze and walk through some gardens. So that's what's going on. Yes, I'm like Yay. undressing right now. For the photo. Yeah. Anything for the pic. We're going in the maze now. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> He's 
like and then running and through the just like <laughs> yep. Yeah, this is not this is not giving like maze. It's, it's giving like path. Like there's not different directions to go. Oh, now there is. Oh wow. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. <gasps> This jacket is from Target. It was 30 bucks. This bodysuit is from H&M, and then these jeans are from Target. And my boots are I'm like all fast fashion. I'm so sorry, guys. This is not me. Zara. Caitlin's turn. Okay. My scarf is from Zara. I got it like three days ago. <laughs> the jacket is from Primark. The jacket is 15 pounds. And then my bodysuit is from like Gap Old Navy, like one of the Good. two. Um, and then my jeans are thrifted. They're Calvin's. Okay, thrifted. They're too uh, short. So the bottom, they have some wear and tear on the bottom. And I'm wearing my Docs. <laughs> my purse is from Uniqlo. Yay! Yay! The purses. We are now at um, one of the gardens. We did the maze. We did cafe. the cafe. Of we course. did another garden. Yeah, we're probably gonna walk on the inside in a bit to learn some history and whatnot um, when it starts raining, but we wanted to make sure we saw everything outside first, so. Um, <laughs> legend says it, this is the place. This may just be the place. <laughs> back in the room <laughs> we have been sitting here for probably like an hour to an hour and a half just trying to relax and decompress because like every day this trip today was a lot but it was fun but it was a lot it's like 7 30 and all we've eaten today was half of a ham sandwich and then barely any breakfast this morning so we're gonna go downstairs get some dinner at the hotel because we cannot be bothered to leave the hotel right now. It's just not gonna happen. Also, I got a phone. It's a Motorola. We put cute stickers on it, so that's exciting. It's the cheapest phone that would let me text people here and also use maps. The quality is giving prison talk, as Caitlin said earlier today. That's all they have. That's all they have. That's all they have. But at least I have something, and that's the update. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no phone, no camera. Um, just vibes. when someone tries to pick pocket your phone, but then they put it back. <laughs> Hey guys, we're in Bath right now, and we're taking pictures. Do you want to say hi? We're in Bath. Woo! <laughs> Blogception. Yes. We have to be real time. Well, no, it was. I forgot about be real. I can't log into my be real. Uh, I didn't change my be real password, so I hope they didn't get that. Anyway. <laughs> We're walking around and then we're gonna go to the Jane Austen Center yeah. and then have tea. But that's how that's the fire. Fire. Uh, we had a request to move the tea. Mm -hmm. 
This is scary. This is really scary. Cute. Very cute. Maybe I should not talk, or you would take the volume out. What? You take the audio out, but I'm like, should yeah, I no, talk? <laughs> should I talk? I love free people, but I don't know anything. Hey! I'm gonna Oh Shopping around, and we're gonna go to have tea soon. <laughs> the different angles. Smile! Smile! Yeah, I'm just gonna make putting up a, a block. Cute! Hi, guys! It's day six. We are currently walking to the British Library. It is Saturday, January 7th, I think. Uh, 7th? 6th? Yeah. Oh, okay, well day 6th. Okay, sure. Yeah, day 6th. Um, no, no, yeah. Never mind. Well, we came on the 2nd, but it's day 6th, so it has to be the 7th. Cutting that is the sixth. We're headed to the British Library, and then after that, we're probably gonna go to Abbey Road and do some music things and record stores. And we're also getting lunch um, at King's Cross Station, which will be really fun. So I hope we can see the Harry Potter stuff. And that's the plan. <laughs> Okay, Tessa. Oh, that is our. Oh, oh. Right now we're at prep for the first time on our trip, which I don't know how we made it this far without going to prep, but it is the seventh, and we're going to see Wicked today, and then we're going to Notting Hill and Portobello Road first. That's where we're off to right now, but Wicked is. Thank you. Wow. All right, taste test. Okay. I actually have like no problem. Like I actually don't know. Okay. Okay. In theory it was good, but I don't know. Just An execution. Like, too many times, you know? Like Yeah. These are really cute. I think you need one of these. Like, I can't. 
Ugh, but like, do I? Look at the look at that dog. Oh. She's wearing green and we didn't even plan this, but no. it worked perfectly. Yes, it did. And we're up on our nosebleeds, and honestly, it could be worse. Like, we have a spot on center view for paying, what, 40 pounds? Like, we kind of ate. Yeah, we kind of ate. got a burger because I could not eat that much food right now because I had too many gummies, gummy snacks at the <laughs> kid. Peace Queen. Exactly what the purpose his of this so whole big. thing is. Sorry. What? Yeah, his Sorry. dogs are so his big. Are so but big. like, why yeah. can we sit? Oh Wait. my gosh, we can yeah. literally yeah. sit on Ready? this big foot. Oh my god! And then they have like a whole place over here where Wait. you can buy photos and stuff. This is so. I'm so scared. And then we go through this area to get to the back area with the MVP. I'm so confused, but I love this. Hi everyone, it is January 8th at like 10.30 p.m. I'm getting ready to go to bed, but I just wanted to talk because I haven't talked on here in a while and it's been a whirlwind of a trip. We only have 
two full days left and then I go to Paris. So that's crazy. I can't believe how fast London has gone. We've done so much, as you can see, probably from all the montages. But I'm getting ready for bed. We're watching Pitch Perfect right now. We just ate a bunch of candy because we've been trying a bunch of London candy, UK candy. Don't recommend the wine gums, personally, and Caitlin agrees. Tomorrow we're going to the British Museum and having tea. And I have to go to the police station to get my um, to get my report, my claim. Um, when I lost my phone, we filed a report, so I have to get the physical copy of that so I can submit it to insurance. It's a whole, it's a whole mess. That's tomorrow, and then we're going to the Tate Modern, which is one of my favorite museums in the entire world, and I'm so excited. That's on Wednesday, and then I leave Thursday. So that's the vibe, and I'm very happy, and I'm very tired, and we've been coming back exhausted every single day, which I think is the best way to do it, and I'm so glad that that's the case. I'm gonna go to bed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another fun day. Hi, right, today we're at the British Museum. It is our second to last full day here, and we're doing this, and then we're gonna go ahead. <laughs> We made it back and we're gonna walk along the river possibly and like see the eye because we like saw it but like didn't see it. So let's Yay! Yay Ben! Yay Ben! Beep 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 beep! Okay, it is the last official day in London because I leave tomorrow in the morning, but we're doing the Tate Modern today, which is literally my favorite museum in the entire world. So I'm really excited. I hope we get enough time. And we're also going to the Borough Market, and then we have a group dinner tonight to say goodbye to everyone. And right now we're literally approaching the Millennium Bridge, which was in Harry Potter when the Death Eaters, like, I forget which movie it was, but the bridge was like, going back and forth. Anyway, I'm excited for today. It is freezing cold, but it's sunny, so it's good at least. But <laughs>